Hey guys, um, <clears throat> Eric Nunn 98 um, I just want to talk to you guys about, um, uh, one of my rigs that I use most often. This is what I call the killer peacock bass rig, and this is just basically a double, double fluke, uh, rig, where, um, where there is a there's a main line, which is my braid, and there is tied to a swivel, which is this one, and there's another swivel in there that goes up and down. So, if, and they're tied to leaders, and they're tied to um, originally it was meant for flukes, but I modified it to suit my needs, and um, I actually put on some very uh very very small um one inch uh grubs and they work very good especially for the pink ink the pink color you know pink color works very good for peacock bass so that's why i use um put it on a daiwa daiwa triforce x it's quite an old rod, it's graphite. Uh, this is why I, tr this is why I throw most of my so called um, Alabama rig modifications and you know any patching or flipping that I have to do. You know, like flukes or uh, Texas rig flukes, um, jig head flukes, whatever. I put it on this Triforce Triforce X. And um, a Seahawk Bass Affinity 103L reel with 15 pound uh, spectra, spectral braid. Uh, so, this, um, yeah, so as my, my techniques continue to change uh, depending on where I fish, and this just mimics a school of bait fish like guppies and whatnot just cruising about and generally uh you know getting in the fish's way and that's what uh gets the the peacock bass to strike and that's what you know that's what I use most often and that's what I get most strikes on for soft plastics. But other than that um I personally prefer using uh, flipping uh, hooks, not hooks, I mean flukes. Uh, for me, flipping hooks is a very easy and convenient way to uh, catch a lot of big, big peacock bass, but this is just for targeting peacock bass in general when the fish aren't biting, and this is a very good uh, method. See, it's pink. It's very, very, very bright and eye catching. Currently I don't have uh my my hook so I'm gonna just use this cork and just poke it down. Maybe I'll get a hook uh hook keeper. You know, I'm building my own rod so um I actually have it give me a second. Building my own bit caster from scratch. This is this is the front part, the butt section, and I've done it uh, decently nice. I suppose it took a lot of sanding and everything. Uh, I'm setting it out to cure. Uh, Fuji rear seat. I think it's starting to harden a bit. Yeah, it's not twisting at all, so that's a good sign. <coughs> Uh, yeah, so it's decently good. I, I like it. This is gonna be my either if it comes out good, it'll be my paired with my Canaan. If it it comes out crap, then I'll be paired with this rod, and my Canaan will go on this rod. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to more vids and uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.